A top Russian diplomat rebuking the Trump administration's decision to sell lethal weapons to Ukraine. Now, the United States has provided training and small non-lethal weapons to Ukraine for years to help fight pro-Russian separatists in the eastern part of the country. But these American-made Javelin anti-tank missiles now are capable of destroying Russian armor. Russia says the move will only further fuel the conflict in eastern Ukraine. The announcement could also further strain relationships between the United States and Russia. Joining me now to discuss retired Marine Corps Gunnery Sergeant Jesse Jane Duff, who's currently at the center, London Center for Policy Research and senior fellow there, is back with us as well, as Stephen Yates. Stephen, let me start with you. <clears throat> this, is a, this was a shocking announcement that I think the media really has totally overlooked, in, in part because it, it goes against the grain of, of, of President Trump being buddy-buddy with Vladimir Putin. It also sends a message to Russia to curb their so-called uh, you know, pr privileged sphere of influence, which more recently has felt like it's gone beyond their former Soviet bloc countries to, to ambitions for the rest of the world. I think it's a really important dose of truth given to the world, to our media, and to, to Russia's leadership. You're quite right. I was, I was at the Cleveland Convention. I was a co-chair of the National Security Subcommittee of the platform that had been much maligned for allegedly softening rhetoric with regard to Ukraine. And clearly, this was something that we had in mind that the president would follow through and do because we knew that he, he intended to stand strong against Russian aggression. And that was actually the last administration that had left a doormat there to encroach upon the sovereignty of the Ukraine. Jesse Jane, uh, over the weekend, uh, G General Robert Nuller uh, of the Marines uh, did his annual Christmas tour. And up in Norway, he said uh, he predicted what he calls a big ass fight on the horizon. Of course, Norway being a neighbor of Russia, uh, you know, he's actually al alerting the troops that, hey, we could actually see uh, uh, an escalation and, and, and he's getting them ready for that. It's, is that premature? No, it's never premature for Marines to uh, be ready. I mean, you go to the Marines Twitter page and you will see them training in cold weather all the time. We are sending a message out to our enemies and our allies that we are prepared. Let's go back a step, though. How did this all happen? Because President Obama had uh, told our allies that we were going to remove the missile defense system that we had promised to them. And that emboldened the Russians way back in 2009 to do the invasion of Crimea. Now, the Ukraine has been pretty much defenseless. There have been over 10,000 casualties that we're aware of that they have moved and been aggressive with these uh, their separatists. And what's happened is Ukraine has been asking and begging for help. And finally, the president of the United States, who believes in a sovereign nation, is keeping his word and devoting his attention to this critical issue. Of course, uh, over the years, Vladimir Putin has increased Russian military spending, and uh, he's made a commitment. And now they've modernized their, 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 their forces. They were embarrassed with the takeover of Georgia, even though it was five days. It was five brutal days that showed they were vulnerable. They've actually taken a kind of action that doesn't put them, Stephen, on equal footing with us, but it does put them well positioned to, to, to push the envelope even more. Well, I would it never say does. that the Russians... I'm sorry, go ahead. No problem. It certainly does. Uh, I mean, it's certainly a fact that the Russians have beefed things up and they've been trying. Uh, they're not going to be at an equal footing with the United States. But I don't think this president necessarily is looking for an American war abroad. I think he's honoring a simple principle of realism that had been lost in recent years right. of helping others help themselves. Right. Uh, we, we've, well, we broke faith with the Ukrainians who gave up nuclear weapons and you know, promise of our protection of their sovereignty. Right. This and, helps them help themselves. And real quick, Jesse Jane, you got 10 seconds. Well, we're never equal with the Russians. We're always superior. Let's never forget that. Oh, yeah, but you know what? When they, when they <laughs> walked in and they snatched Crimea, when they walked in and they took Georgia, they didn't feel like uh, we were their superiors, did they? Well, President Trump wasn't the president of the United States then. We're back in charge. Jesse Jane, Stephen Yates, thank you both very much. Lou Dobbs is next, so keep it right here on Fox Business.